Styles help you store, manage, and reuse sets of colors, fonts, and page transitions to keep your sites consistent. And setting your site styles before you start building can save you time along the way. Let's jump into your site styles manager. You can customize and save up to nine different topography themes for your site. And you can change your font, size, behavior, color, and formatting for each text theme. So we can update the Heading 1 theme by choosing a font and text size. Then we can update each of the rest of the headings and paragraphs the same way. You can also upload your own font. If you head into an individual heading or paragraph type, you'll see this toggle for Scale Proportionally. This is just like the text scale settings we covered in an earlier lesson, but you can set it directly on your theme from here, and it'll always be turned on by default. Your site comes with three default canvas sizes, and you can edit them for each breakpoint. Your primary canvas is your desktop canvas, and you'll see its default size is 1,280 pixels. No matter what screen size you're editing for, any text in your site styles that you set to scale will always show its size as it would be at the default desktop canvas size. Even if you're in the tablet breakpoint and your font size has a smaller pixel on canvas value, your site styles will still show whatever size you set for the primary breakpoint. Wix Studio scales your text from the default size down to your current canvas size. So this number in the inspector doesn't exist in isolation. Basically, that number just means that this value in site styles will be proportionally scaled down to the size it should be in this breakpoint. You can change your site styles preview font to any canvas size you want by entering the canvas size you want here. Whatever size font you set on desktop will then cascade down to the lower breakpoints too, without scaling. Once you've set your text style, it'll be available to use back in your ad panel. When you add or edit a text element, you'll see it in the Inspector panel. Within the Inspector, you can also change any individual text element's properties without affecting your theme settings. But if you prefer how an individual change looks, you can add it to your theme by clicking on the Theme dropdown and selecting Update Theme. Or if you'd rather revert the text back to your theme, just hit Reset Changes. And you can use any heading theme you'd like anywhere on your site, then change its HTML heading tag to the correct one down here without affecting your design. Color styles have different uses, like background, action, and more. You can choose five colors per palette. When you pick a new color, the palette changes to complement it. For background, your first swatch will be white, and last swatch is black. And here's your default color for text. Choose an element and you'll find your themes available in the color picker over in the inspector. Styles can come into play again when you add more pages to your site. If on preview you want to make any changes, like for example smoothing out the page transitions, Add a page transition to our site style. Now you're ready to style your sites. Over the past four lessons, we've covered the basics of building a section in the Studio Editor. Next up, the first challenge of the Essentials course. I'll be with you along the way to help you set up your first section. See you there.